So we've looked at how you can analyze historic batches and how they performed, but quite often our customers want to see how the batch is performing in real time. So for this purpose, we've developed the batch dashboard. You can find that by clicking up the three dots here and then batch dashboard. That will pull up this live representation of how the batch is performing. Many of our customers have this on a large screen near the line where operators or managers on a gimbal walk can see immediately in real time how the batch is performing. So here up the top, we can see the current status of the line. We can see the line is down as it's red and there's been a product jam for the last 10 minutes and that's what has the line down. On the left here, we get some key KPIs about this current batch. You can see the batch PO number that's running, the product that's running, the estimated time of completion and the status. So there's 656 units produced out of a planned 50,000 so far. In this central graph here, we can see this black line, which demonstrates how many pieces are expected to be produced or need to be produced in order for the batch to be on target. And this red block here underneath shows how far behind the batch is compared to the expected count. Over here, we can see how many unregistered stops there's been in the last 24 hours. There's been 19. We keep this here because this is a key KPI for us because we want to keep the number of unregistered stops as low as possible so that we get a comprehensive understanding of why downtime is occurring. You get a selection of other KPIs here in terms of how many units have been produced this week, how many units have been produced since 1 a.m. in this instance, and how many units have been produced in the last hour. So this is how you can get a real-time understanding of how the batch is performing. But some customers prefer for this to be at a shift level to understand how a shift is performing in real time as opposed to a bat. And so for that very purpose, we developed the shift dashboard. So to locate that, we go back here to the Factbird Live demo line and then click on shift dashboard just underneath batch dashboard. Now we get a very similar screen, but all of this information now is shift specific rather than batch specific. So again, we get the live status. This product jam has now been going on for 12 minutes. We get the same number of unregistered stops in the last 24 hours. And this time we get the metrics for this shift on the right side. So we can see the current shift. The name of it is the day shift. The shift target, which is in this case about 58,000. The expected count by this time and then the actual produced amount. So we can see that they've only produced uh, just shy of 17,000 out of a planned 58,000 and the estimated time of completion is 2.24 p.m. for this shift. Here again, we get this black line showing the expected count for this shift and the red underneath demonstrating that the operators are actually quite far behind on this shift. On the left side, we get just a quick overview of the previous shift. It was the night shift that was the target and they actually produced 2,764 out of a planned 3,600. So again, this helps the operators or the managers on their gimbal walks to understand how the previous shift is performing, how the current shift is performing, and get that just real-time overview of how the, the shifts are performing on-site.